What's up guys, it's Matter here, and today we are going to be reacting to another Fat Electrician video. This one is Fat Electrician Reviews, the B-52 Bomber. So this might be the most iconic plane ever built. Uh, I can't think of, especially, well, definitely the most iconic bomber, right? Um, everyone knows what a B-52 is. Uh, that being said, I'm sure he's going to make a great video on it. His videos are, f they're just hilarious. But anyway, link to the original down below and let's jump into it about aerial diplomacy or as the united states air force likes to call it warheads on foreheads and when it comes <laughs> to delivering unhealth care in bulk uncle sam calls upon one thing unhealth the b-52 strato fortress also known as the buff which stands for the big ugly fat fella <laughs> sorry i'm not allowed to swear on the first 30 seconds of my videos or i get in trouble anyways True. back to buffy the forehead slayer oh i oh i guess this was originally uploaded on tiktok i was gonna say youtube's only 15 seconds as long as you don't swear in the first 15 seconds you're fine over here, this thing is capable of carrying 35 tons of warheads at a time. Going at a top speed of 650 miles an hour for up to 8,800 miles on a single tank of fuel. And if the target is more than 4,500 miles away, it's capable of aerial refueling, meaning it can leave America, go anywhere on the planet, blow anything up at once, and then come back. A great example- Man, aerial refueling blows my mind. Like, the fact that we were able to figure, figure that out. Like, you have these hoses that just come out and, like, walk in. Operation Chrome Dome. That's the real name of it. That is hilarious. Example of this is Operation Chrome Dome from... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Who named that? I know. Apparently the Air Force really wanted to set a tone back in the Cold War. Not only are they going to be putting warheads on foreheads, they're going to be dropping something so bright your hemisphere is going to be putting off reflections. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see here, Operation Chrome Dome went from 1960 to 1968, where they basically kept B-52s in the air at all times, flying around the majority of the USA and the USC, also known as Canada. The USC. Those B-52s were equipped with nuclear warheads to engage the Soviet Union should the need... Bad. I can't even be mad at that. We are, like, I guess you got USBs, Britain. USC is Canada. What do we call Australia and New Zealand, then? US... Down under? USD, I guess? Need to rise. So, yeah, we were helping to protect Canada and their universal health care with our universal unhealth care. I feel like I they should at least give us a free checkup or something. You know what? I don't even think we had universal health care at that point. Actually, now I want to Google that. When did we get... I, I don't think we got that until Trudeau. Like, the first Trudeau. I'm not actually sure when we got that. Um, healthcare in Canada, the Wikipedia. Uh, when did we get the universal healthcare? I'm pretty sure that was under Trudeau Senior. Uh, this doesn't have like the history of it. Nineteen seventy five from the looks of it. Okay, so yeah, that would have been under Trudeau Senior, I believe. I think he was in charge in seventy five. Um but yeah, we didn't have it back then. Probably shouldn't have protected us. Just let the Soviets take us over. We're fucking useless. On second thought, they are willing to fight grizzly bears to get us that tree flavored Kool Aid, so I guess we're even. Luckily it's never come to using nuclear warheads, but even without nuclear warheads, a B fifty two is a force on the battlefield. Above the battlefield? I don't know. Anyways, the buff has been in use since 1955, and it's slotted to remain in use till after 2050. There's quite literally been fathers and sons that have flown the same exact plane. <laughs> Longevity like that is due to its superior design. Man, at this point, there's probably fathers, there's probably grandfathers, fathers, and sons. And grandsons, whatever the fuck you want to say. Like, the plane's been in service for, since 55, so, fucking... What's that? Sixty-seven years, right? You, you honestly, you might be at the point now where there's four generations that have flown the same plane. That is wild. Relative low cost compared to other bombers, and the Air Force maintainers that take an extreme amount of pride to keep these things in the air. Because at the end of the day, it might take a pilot with a college degree to fly this thing, but it takes an Air Force maintainer with a high school diploma to make this thing fly. So what does a B-52 do when it's not carrying nuclear bombs? That's easy, it's carrying a shit ton of regular bombs. <laughs> Good old fashioned bad guy to baloney mist technology. It's capable bad of guy to baloney mist. 500 pound bombs and dropping them basically all at once. I'm trying to tell you the B-52 is like the Johnny Appleseed of freedom. No, <laughs> the Johnny Freedom Seed. When he comes freedom through the plane forest to red, white, and blue woods, not only are the bad guys gonna cease to exist, but you're gonna have to hire a cartographer to update the topographical maps because Johnny's about to add a new terrain 
mind feature known as a coitus ditch, also known <laughs> as a fucking hole. In conclusion, if you're a bad guy listening in on radio it, transmissions... It, it, it honestly took me way too long to get that. When you hear B-52, they're not playing bingo, but you are about to win a free cremation. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy my content, yeah, you like buy me a beer about it. There's a link for that right here. There's also the link for all my merchandise. Like my Warheads on Foreheads t-shirt. If you're on YouTube, that link is in the video description. So until next time, thanks for your service. Quack bang out. <laughs> What's the quack bang thing a reference to? Because uh, I, I know he says that like the end of every video, but I've never seen that. But anyway, that, that was great. A short one. Um, he did quite a few of these short ones. I think he originally just uploaded on TikTok, and then now he started doing like longer YouTube uh, exclusives. But they're both really good, so... Anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.